Hi everyone, what up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on how to achieve this very sleek and simple pony. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. All right, hello, hello guys. We are going to be doing a super simple hairstyle today. My hair is actually not super dirty right now, but I will say this hairstyle is great if you are on like day three, day four of not washing your hair in between your wash days. The greasier your hair is, the better, the more it will help you. What we're gonna need for today, whatever type of brush you prefer to brush your hair with, I like this finger finger brush for my really long and thick hair. Also have this little um, dense hair comb and this basically will really help smooth everything out as we go. You're gonna need any sort of hair oil that you like to use in your hair. This is my Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. I like this to smooth out the ends of my hair and also you will see how we use this going forward in the tutorial. Also gonna need some sort of hairspray. This is Tresemme Extra Firm Control Hairspray. Boom. Of course, you're going to need a hair tie, depending on if you want this look to be more sleek. You can get something that matches the color of your hair. Normally, I have a lot of black hair ties. Honestly, I couldn't find one before I started filming this, so I'm like, whatever. We're just going to do it with a pink one today. What I like to do is first brush through my hair to just make sure that nothing is tangled. This is actually, like, whatever your hair texture is, a sleek pony can be done if you have wavy hair, curly hair. You can still style your hair in a sleek ponytail if you want to. My hair actually is naturally wavy and has texture, but I ended up blow drying and straightening it. Um, my last wash day so just depends on my mood I guess the other thing you're gonna need is a pick to part your hair this brush actually has a pick on the end of it and you can actually um, put it back in the brush and then kind of use it like this or you can just use the pick by itself um, which is another reason I really like this finger brush there are other picks obviously you can find you know on different types of combs I have a few others that I like um, but I figured for the sake of this video, we'll just use this one. I like to part my hair down the center, and you can obviously choose wherever you want your part to be. But for this look, I just love that center part. I think it's so clean and sleek looking. Just where we're at, I like this. Also, my kitties are eating in the background. If you can hear their little crunches, they are enjoying themselves. Now what we're gonna do is make sure you put the hair tie on your wrist just so it's easier. Kind of put it behind your ears and I just kind of pull the hair back like so. Depending on where you want the height, so you can actually do this pretty high up. Um, I wanted to just do something low because I feel like it can go with a lot of different outfits. I'm just going to put it right about where I want it here. What I like to do is hold the hair in the ponytail where you already want it and then take our take the bristle comb and just start in the front and brush the pieces back kind of into my hand. So you can see I open my fingers up and then hold onto the hair once I brushed it back there. And I kind of like to work all the way around my head until I feel like it looks nice and smooth and I like where it's at. So this side looks way more sleek and pulled together than this side does. I'm going to switch hands and hold on to the grip so I keep it looking the way it is. I'll turn so you guys can kind of see as I brush, again, I am just grabbing the hair and kind of holding it in place. It's actually not that complicated, but you never know who might need some advice. That's kind of where I like it, and I will show you guys this back portion here. I like to kind of brush behind, so you can do this really far forward too if you want to like change how the part looks, but this is just how I like it. Now with the hair tie, I'm just going to secure the pony. And there we have it. Next step I like to do is instead of just going in with hairspray right away, is take your hair oil do a, one or even like half of a pump in your fingers, rub it together. And starting at the back, 
kind of by the base of the ponytail so it's not too um, intensely greasy. You can kind of start to smooth this over the top of your head. And what I've noticed is this helps any flyaways that are trying to be super out there crazy. This helps maintain those for the hairspray like ahead of time, if that makes sense. Like what I was noticing is I was just trying to put hairspray all over my head and I would still find little flyaways here and there. This kind of puts the hair down where you want it before you use hairspray. I can imagine obviously like the kind of dirtier your hair is, the easier this actually is to achieve. Any extra I do like to run down into my ponytail as well. I feel like it just helps smooth it out and makes it look very sleek. Definitely feel kind of like a superhero mom right now with my hair in this whole like sleek turtleneck situation. I'm just going to take a little bit of hairspray and mist it and then kind of brush the hairs down. You can also do behind your ears. There you have it guys. A super simple sleek pony it really can go with any outfit and i like this because it really puts the focus on your face and keeps your hair kind of um pulled back this is great if you're doing like a really fun glam it's honestly one of like my easiest go-to hairstyles i do <laughs> and i'm a lazy girl when it comes to hair if you guys have been with me for a while you know this it is from the side slash back and I just love how clean and it's like very polished it can make anything look. I'll list the products I used for this in the description box below for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comments if there are any other types of hairstyles that you're curious about or that you would like me to do tutorials on. Also, please be sure to support me as a creator by subscribing to my channel. It honestly means so much to me. And it's one of the biggest things you can do to help me girl out. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.